Hello everybody, Comrade Kelly here. Welcome to a World Conquer 4 mod review. For today, our mod would be the Glory of Communism 2 mod. So this mod has been updated again and let me show you what are the things that has been added. So a new journal has been added and his name was Rectangle. So if you look at his stats, he's a infantry and tank leader. And you can buy him at 35 medals. So with the most like good generals in this game so we got Graziani at 25 Yamashita 25 and so on and so forth except for this uh, terrorist general where they still have the, the same expensive price but if you go here you got lead for 15 and you got Tito for 35 so yeah the, the generals in these games are really cheap then you can go to tech upgrade where you can upgrade things for free without cost as you can see here uh, I'm upgrading my infantry to level 6 and as you can see I maxed out already without using any resources. So aside from that let me teach you guys how to get the 5000 medals. So if you go to tutorial and you beat it you should be able to unlock 5k medals. Uh, sadly tutorial was buggy for me so I couldn't beat it. So only as you can see only World War 2 Europe has it all unlocked for me. While World War 2 Pacific doesn't have all its mission unlocked for me sadly. So, but aside from that, uh, we should move on to the conquest where most of the new things has been added. So 1939 is based on 1945 and a lot of new unique units has been added. As you can see here already, uh, you, you can see the mouse tank. So let me get Godarian for example. Uh, as you can see another new unique unit has been added. You got the Soviet Red Army Air Force. So we can shoot it down with Guderian. Uh The Germans also get a super artillery, the Kaljerat. I don't know if I named that properly. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong though. You get the machine gun nest replacing the bunkers and you can move it, but it's gonna be really slow to move. So aside from that, uh, the Germans they also get sorry. The Germans also get a lot of new stuff that has been added. As you can see, they also get their own air force, the Luftwaffe, the armored division, as you can see the truck that you usually see, oh no not the truck the car you usually see has been now replaced by a panzer 3 and all the german tank units has been redesigned so if you look at weak tank we got panzer 3 in light tank for some reason we get the tiger 2 medium tank we get the p43 the heavy tank we get the e75 and for the super tank we get the mouse as you can see we got the cow gerat Oh no, this is not the Gerard gun. This is the Gerard gun. I think this is the Gustav gun. So sorry for my <laughs> confusion. Uh, you probably are already typing it in the comments how I got the super artillery wrong. Uh, I still could be wrong though. It could be another name. And I'm just like retarded thinking that is the Gustav gun. So if you go check out the Pacific, there's a huge naval battle over here. And in China, the People's Republic of China has been added with a lot of commandos and here we go we can see the fighter planes from Mingjiang Manchukuo has been added to this game what else we get the Japanese Imperial Japanese Air Force uh, we got uh, the Empire of Vietnam not yeah, Vietnam we got Indonesia over here what else do we have we got a neutral Spain which is pretty cool we got fascist Italy and the allied side of Italy, so that was after Sicily already. Here we can see you get a French Air Force, so I think most of the major nation gets its own Air Force. And in the Middle East you got the terrorist. We got the in we got the Italians still in Africa. So this 1945 basically ends it here already. But the Germans, I, they look like they can actually easily fight this back if you don't play carefully. Because they have a lot of good units trying to defend. So let's move on to another year. Uh, let's go on to the next scenario which is 1943. But this is the USS R versus USA. So one of the first mods in World Conquer 3 was this one. So uh, it's really cool to see it back at World Conquer 4 again. So we, here we got 1950 where a lot of new nation has been added. Uh, you can see already in Africa we got uh, Morocco, uh, Algeria, Libya, and Egypt with 
Ethiopia. Same with the Middle East, a lot of new nation has been added. You can see uh, some of the flanks of the nation has been changed to the Warsaw Pact one. And here we got a lot of Southeast Asian nation. Uh, you can see La the Laos flag is a bit weird. But you should not mind it. Here we got the Viet Cong versus... Let me check the Northern Vietnam and the Southern Vietnam. We got the Philippines over here. And let's just go to one of the scenario. So in this one, uh, almost all the units has been changed. It has been changed to the, I think this is Glory of Generals if I remember. And here we got the we got the Berlin Wall which is pretty cool too. So we got the Berlin Wall, we got a huge naval fight that's about to happen between the Soviet naval fleet and the American one. What else do we have? We got the Chinese over here, we got the Vietnam War, Nepal, Pakistan, all this new nation has been added. So let's move on to the last one which is the alien here but I don't think anything has changed in that one. Uh, I could be wrong though so I don't think that much has changed in this one. So there's another version where there's no border and yeah that's basically the second download version. So if you don't like border gore uh, you should go get the one with no border. So that's it for this mod. Uh, thank you guys for watching this. Uh, I hope you guys will enjoy this mod because I really do. That's why I'm reviewing this right now on a school day. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!